Hokey dokey. In this video, I just wanted to go through some of the cool new uses of math notes that comes in the calculator and the new iOS 18 update for Apple products, Apple devices, whatever. So um, first, let's kind of lay out the problem. They say if f of x equals this, then a value not in the domain of f is something. So one of these x values. So what we're looking for really just to kind of like summarize, we're looking for the x value that makes the denominator here equal to zero because if the denominator is equal to zero, then the entire function would be undefined. Therefore, that x value would not be in the domain since it's not producing a defined function value. So um, we could like solve it algebraically, like just set the denominator equal to zero and factor it and solve for x manually, but that's not what we're demonstrating here today. We are demonstrating how to plug and chug these x values with the help of the brand new math notes. So let's get into it. So we just have a you know regular calculator app, but if you go down to the lower left and tap math notes, well now we have the fun stuff. Let's talk about it. So Looking back at the problem, again, we are essentially plugging and chugging these x values to see which one makes the denominator equal to zero. So starting with this approach, uh, we could label a, b, c, d, and e, uh, you know, the x values in a, b, c, d, and e, and then just write out like, okay, well, a equals 6, so a squared minus a minus 12 equals... 18. And we could do that over and over again. We could say b equals negative 4. And then we could say b squared minus b minus 12 equals 8, and so on and so forth. Not very efficient, right? So perhaps maybe we just go with the classic x and we say, well, okay, how about x equals 6? And then we just say x squared minus x minus 12. And then we have to <laughs> have to write equals and we get 18 and then we go okay well let's just change that each time to negative four and to five and to you know and to and to negative six and negative three let's say though instead of erasing and rewriting you are lazy and you, and you don't want to do that how about you tap on the five tap on the five and now you have a slider and you change that to negative 6. And you get, oh, it's very finicky with the pencil. Uh, negative 6. And you get 30. And so far, we have not gotten 0. So the hope is, if we change it to negative 3, do we get 0? And we do. So negative 3 is our answer. We break out the eraser. We see that that is our answer. Let's talk about one more way we could have done this. We want to know where the denominator is equal to 0. So how about... We treat it like a graph, or we, we try to come up with the graph for this function. So we say y equals the denominator, and we say insert graph, and it gives us this graph here. This is the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, you can get this graph, right? And then there's not any... I wonder... Oh, you know what? Watch this. I just thought of this. If we are looking for the x-intercepts, look at this. We can say y equals 0 because where y equals 0, uh, is, we're looking for the x-intercepts, and the x-intercepts are where y equals 0. Can we find intersection points? They don't have that function yet, but um, it at least helps us identify it a little bit easier visually maybe. Uh, anyway, we're looking for the intersection there. So 4 is one y-intercept, or sorry, x-intercept, and negative three is the other x-intercept. Negative three was our answer in this case because there was no option for uh, x equals four. So anyway, that was another way to find the x value that made the denominator equal to zero. Uh, so we talked about, a sorry, so we talked about a bunch of different ways you can plug and chug um, different values into a function to find where that function is equal to zero or where that expression is equal to zero so here are some fun you know uses you can try on your own um this is going to be super useful in the new school year so i look forward to to trying new things with it and seeing how it can be uh, a helpful tool so uh i'll see you in the next video because i'll probably make like a hundred more of these all right